Hey guys, welcome back to Building a Hopeful Homestead channel. I'm Vanessa, and if you're new here, welcome. The past two weeks, I have been doing something big in my house. We moved in here about six months ago. I got my storage containers from Azure about a month ago, and for the past week, I have been putting all of my food storage away and organizing everything and today I wanted to show you what I did. The first thing that I do when I get my food ready for bulk storage is wash and dry off my lids and buckets. So that's what I'm doing here. Sometimes when you pick up your order from Azure, your buckets and lids have been placed on the ground or the dirt. So this is just to ensure that they're clean and sanitary for our food storage. This is just me rummaging around behind my table to get out my bulk bags of rice and flour and my giant gallon jars and half gallon jars and my buckets. Here I'm wiping off the lids with a dry paper towel to ensure they're totally dry before I add them to a bucket. I stacked these up after I wiped them off with a damp cloth. Don't do that. Um, make sure to spread them out so they have exposure to the air so they can dry off more quickly. You can find these buckets at Lowe's sometimes or any other bulk food store that is around. I just chose Azure because around where I live we only have Lowe's and Home Depot and they were sold out for months. So I was really blessed to be able to afford to get these from Azure this month. I worked a really long time to clean these buckets and I just wanted to speed it up so you could see the whole process. It took a long time. This is my storage space under the island in my kitchen. It is packed full in this video and I'm super excited to get all of this stuff out and put into five gallon buckets where I have space to put it. I'm just gonna organize and go through all this stuff and you guys can come along and watch if you want to. Georgia decided since I was on the ground that she needed pets and hugs and snuggles, so that was her for a minute. I keep a lot of my drinks down underneath of this cabinet, but I also have a lot of my grains and beans under here too and it's all very disorganized and hectic underneath there and it was really great to get under there and get everything situated and nice. As you can see, it was a real mess. It took me such a long time to go through all of that, and I was sitting there thinking about what I wanted to do with everything. It was, it's funny to look back on it now. <laughs> After I got everything out that I wanted to put into containers, I transferred it all over to the big table. Here I'm filling this large five gallon bucket with my extra long basmati rice. I get it delivered every four months in a 10 pound bag from Amazon. I also pick up smaller two pound bags from my food line every once in a while. So I am just putting that all into the same bucket because it's the same kind of rice. And it didn't look like it filled it up all the way, so I may get some more containers of that in the future. Plus I'll be using it as time goes on, so I will continue to replenish that supply. I just stick the lid on top and label it after I finish filling the buckets. I don't slam them down on it yet, that's for my husband to do later. Once the lids are securely on the buckets, you can pull the strip off the side and it makes it easier to open and shut the buckets by yourself. Here I'm filling up my buckets with medium grain white rice. I have 110 pounds of this rice now, and I know that sounds like it's excessive, but that is a year supply for my family of five because we use around 10 to 15 pounds of rice a month in our household. That totals around three 
five gallon buckets of rice. I wanted to have a year supply of some kind of food in my house and rice was one of the most affordable options. I also have a year supply of beans, but I have a variety of beans. Um, but So I have a year supply of this white rice and I also have this basmati rice to kind of shake things up every once in a while. We do supplement with potatoes and starches and pastas, but as far as emergency preparedness goes, I just wanted to have something that I had a year supply of. This is the white wheat flour that I ordered from Azure Standard. Came in a 25 pound bag. This might actually be a 50 pound bag. I can't quite remember. I think it's a 50 pound bag, but it was super heavy and I felt like this was the best option to put it into long-term storage with a cup because I knew if I poured it all at once, I would spill it everywhere. And you see, I did spill a little bit there at the end, but nothing major nothing to cry about which you know was the point there's no point in getting bulk food storage if you dump it all over the floor when you go to put it into long-term storage <laughs> here i'm adding my bulk bag of red lentils from azure to this five gallon bucket i also have an excessive amount of lentils just in my house so I'm putting the oldest bags on the top of the bucket and we'll use this up within a year or six months so it's not that big of a deal. They're all really fresh and really good quality and I am happy with what I got from Azure for these lentils. These are some whole dried peas. I really like split pea soup. It is one of the things that my dad used to make for us when I was a kid. He was really good at making it and I have memories of it. And it's, I know it's a weird thing for a kid to like, but I really liked his split pea soup. And I like my split pea soup with some whole peas in it too. That's why I got a giant bag of whole peas. Next month I'll be ordering the giant bag of split peas so that I can finally start making my split pea soup again. These are golden lentils. I got a small five pound bag from Azure and you can see it almost fills up the entire gallon container from Azure. They are organic and I'm just marking it with a Sharpie. If you wipe this off with some rubbing alcohol, it comes right off and it doesn't leave any marks in your jar. This is me putting some sushi rice into a five gallon bucket. We like to have a variety of rice in our house. So we have white, medium grain rice, extra long grain rice, and sushi rice. My kids love it when I make kimbap and sushi for them. They also love bimbap and taboki, so I'm really looking forward to make, making those for them. They are so excited about kimbap that it's like the equivalent to pizza for most kids. Here I am putting some curry powder into a jar. I later transfer this to a gallon size container. I just measure, measured and my camera battery died at that point so I had to switch and I didn't realize for a while before I started recording again. This is split peas. I put, I'm putting all of my split peas into containers that I have and I will consolidate them into a five gallon bucket when I get my next Azure order and get more split peas. Here I am just consolidating some pinto beans into a smaller container. This is cherry granola. It's Azure's, one of Azure's big items. Their granola is really popular. It's also a little bit pricey. So I wanted to keep it fresh for as long as possible by storing it in a gallon container. 
These are Azure's Rainbow Drops, and that container was gone within four days. I attempted to hide it and it didn't work. So once again, I have to order another pound in order to make cookies. In the next frame, I'm just putting barley into a five gallon bucket. As you can see, I have a bulk storage buddy. This is Georgia. She had a surgery recently. Um, she had a hernia, so we had that fixed for her. So she is in a cone and she hates it and she's really clingy. And the sound of the food going into the five gallon buckets and into the jars sounds like her food dish being filled up. So that's why she is over in almost every frame checking out what I'm doing. She's helping. <laughs> I just filled up a five gallon bucket with some red kidney beans. So that's what those were. This is me just prying off the top of one of these lids with my special little pry tool here. This is a five gallon bucket of cannellini beans and I just ordered some from Azure to top off our five gallon bucket. This is a five pound bag of pinto beans from Azure. They're organic and they all fit into a gallon container. This is ginger snap granola from Azure. It's super good and I definitely recommend you guys check this stuff out because it is amazing. Here we are coming to the end of the bulk food organization. These are adzuki beans. That's a five pound bag from Azure. They're organic and they're super beautiful. I got some of these containers from a Salvation Army and a thrift store recently. That is a kimchi container that I just washed and reused. I have a special love for ball jars. <laughs> Um, I really love the blue ones and the older the better so I use the older ones that I have for dry food storage because I don't like to can with them because they're too precious to me. I know that's silly but it makes your food storage look even more beautiful so that's why I do that. I got these lids and rings from the Dollar General. I don't know if I would use them for canning. I usually stick with Ball or some other official brand, um, but for dry storage purposes, these work just fine and they're way more affordable than the ones that you get from Ball. I have some red lentils in that tall mason jar and those are some bay leaves in that square blue mason jar. Now I'm writing the names of everything onto the mason jars with a red Sharpie marker. You can use rubbing alcohol to get the Sharpie marker off and it comes off just fine. So I can store whatever I want in these in the future. Here we are all finished. I really enjoyed doing this project with you guys today. My five gallon buckets are behind the table. We'll put those in another place in the future. There's a little pile left on the table and above my china cabinet, there's a bunch of jars that we got filled up today. Thanks for coming along with me. I really enjoyed spending time with you. Bye friends.